Hey yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Moku and we are back with Face Attorney. Back after just finishing Point Fingers at our dear beloved Miss Wendy Old Bag. I actually love that character to pieces. Uh, I will always, by my heart, think that the assistant is the one who did it. That She is my number one suspect and that will always be until the end of the chapter. But until then, it is 300 degrees in here. I'm squirting bullets. I cannot think one bit, but I will still play this game just for you guys. October 18, Ryden Co. Law Offices. Phew, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say, you think WP's got a chance? Are you gonna stick with WP now? I guess that really depends on the people who we found out about in t uh, today's trial. The director and producer? That's right, we, uh, we realize about those two who uh, haven't shown up. Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing then? Let's get to the studios. Yeah, let's get to the studios. I believe nothing has to be examined, so I'm gonna skip that part. Uh, do we have anything to talk to? Yes, we do. What do you think we should do? What, what do I... Huh? Why don't we do what you just said? We gotta get the scoop on this director and producer. Alright. And then there's no point in hanging out there. That's what I've been saying! Let's get to the studios pronto! I'm not the smartest guy. How did I get attorney? Hmm. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. That's exactly the same thing you said yesterday. Just admit it. You don't have a clue what happened. There's not enough information. Oh, any ideas? I was wondering what they were talking about. Uh, so we're just gonna go to the studio. October 18, 216, Global Studios, Main Gate. No one's here. Right. Now that they have Miss Oldbag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey! In a guard station! Look! She left her donuts. What? I was going to eat them. So why point out the obvious? It was obvious. It's obvious you're hungry. It's fine. It's a human nature to be hungry. The security guard station. And donuts are fucking delicious. Miss Oldbag must like junk food. There's a mountain of- oh yes, I remember that. She loves junk food. Is there anything in the van? I have something that's something in the van. There's gotta be something in the van. Looks like a studio in the van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment and a dead body. I'm saying there's a dead body. Uh, where are we gonna find the producers and director? In the employee area, though. Look! It's that assistant girl! Yeah, the one that I think did it? Hey! Hi! WP's lawyer, right? I heard about the trial! Great job, guys! Oh. Oh ho ho! Don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh ho 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 ho! Actually, she just called me. Oh? She told me to cover up that dream! You mean that one? What of? Yeah, that was my first instinct too. I, I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? Right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh, oh. Well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Oldbag. Right. See you later then. Good luck with your investigation. So that just proves my point. They wouldn't put someone in the guard station unless they can handle themselves. Why did we put the assistant there? Hmm. 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 Mm, mm. Suspicious, suspicious, suspicious. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. She did it. She did it. Um, I'm not even going to examine one. I will examine this, though. Why am I sliding all over the place? So, the fan board they were talking about in the trial today. He came in through that train? So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey. Hey, Nick. If that train's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah. I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though. Don't you? 
What? You want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can? Whoa. She serious? Uh-oh. Fuck yeah. I'm here to cause trouble. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yay! You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Ah, oh, don't mention it. So, what? Sometimes? Hee-ya! Damn. That should make the kids happy. The things we do. Yeah, but I want to take a... I want... This is evidence, no? The drain grid is off, and I know who did it. Now the kids be able to come in again. Does it make you feel great to do a good deed like that? Must be nice to live so free of guilt. Yeah, honestly, like... Common sense doesn't show up on this girl, huh? Uh, okay, well, I guess they're not there, as I thought they would be. Because they won't be in his dressing room. Oh! Hello! Oh ho! You're looking a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of a alternative guard fashion thing. The, I, if she changed, I didn't realize. Is there something different now? The computer that runs the st uh, studio security cameras. Huh? It looks like it's been turned off for the day. Why would they turn it off? Yeah. Oh, please don't touch anything in there. The security lady would knock the stuffing out of me if she knew. Yeah, that would... I, I wouldn't mind. Just saying. Oh, yeah, we should talk about you, huh? So, how the studio's going? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plate from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the stick bones left over of them in the employee area? Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, can you believe it? Do kids sneak in in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the set or snapping pictures. You should see old Windback's eye flash when she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching though. He's a sneaky little devil, huh? I heard something at the trial today. They say that the director and producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director? More the producer, really. The producers are real star here. Sorry? She saved these studios from the break of disaster, kept them running. I don't think we'll still be in business business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? Yeah, so it's all about the producer. All about the producer. I gotta remember all my evidence because once again, it's been a while since I played. Um, But now I also heard that they were talking about the trial that happened today. So this is the same day as a trial. I figured it was going to be the next day, but hey, oh well. Let's go to Studio One. Well, obviously they're going to be here, right? Am I going to... Okay, for a second I thought I was going to see Mr. Um, Gumshoe. Oh, that, another beloved character. Hey, Nick. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. I was just talking about him. You're right. He's probably up to his neck and paperwork after the commotion of today's trial. So, Nick. Remember that Studio 2 we heard about at the trial today? It was down that path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today? Now's a chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Yeah, we should actually. That's a good idea. Again, this thing right there, that little head popping off, that's not wind. That's definitely not wind. This is going to be something, but oh well. Let's go to Studio 2. First impression, not happy. Not a lot of details. This place is deserted. What was that noise? Another dead body. It's it sounded like it came from it sounded like it came from the trail. Hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be bargained in. Huh? It's locked! Oh no, it's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No. But there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. Oh, the killer is in there. 
The killer is in there, literally. I'm examining the windows. I want to see what's inside. On close inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is part of some temporary film set. I want to look inside. The trail door is locked. The key is probably in the security guard station. I doubt they let us borrow it. I, I don't care if we have to go on against the clock. I'm, exam I'm examining everything. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. It, wow, that one, the, the one right there that's bent. That's a good murder weapon. Oh, I can see it now. I can see the, I can see the body just, I'm, I'm going crazy. This looks like the materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. Yeah, this, I think this is what they were using it for, like a storage room. Looks like two people's ate, ate here. There's nothing left on the plate. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too. Why is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. And I think I know exactly what it is because I was just thinking about something. What this the assistant girl just said they were kind of like in a budget where if it wasn't for the producer they would be running out of business. T-bone steaks are freaking expensive. How could they afford afford that? Hmm. I, I, I'm wondering if we're having the same mindset. A light fan for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept in pretty good shape. Looks like it's a fun ride. Looks like it run fine. It was kind. Of, it was kind of close. It was just me and my dyslexic ass. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver license. But look, I have this. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? You don't have to like. How do you get in there then? Do you walk? Do you take the bus? An incinerator. Apparently, they just put this one in. It's already covered in suit. They must not clean it much. They just put it in and it's already covered? That's a bad sign. Anyways, maybe we should actually move now. Alright, quick, 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 quick. I don't want to see Gumshoe. I don't want to see Gumshoe. Hi. We're not talking, we're just good. What do I do? Oh, no, I don't have any evidence about this, huh? Was it in the employee area, maybe? No, didn't, didn't we say we go into the main gate for the key? Oh! Oh, oh, I saw... Ah, uh, aha! The security guard station. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Oh, please don't touch anything in here! The security lady would knock the blah 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 No, that's not it? An overhead map of the studios, right from here. Yeah, no, we know all this. There's no clues because I didn't mean to click that. Um, am I? There's nothing to talk to you about. What? What do I? Where do I go? Oh, do I go? To <laughs> what? Yeah, I heard something, so I'm going to the detention center. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, Mr. Wright. Thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Hmm. S sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Y yes. Okay, well, gonna whatever happened, it happened. Okay, I, 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 what can I say? I'm too slow. Do uh, fanboys sneak into the studios often? No, not that I know of. That security lady, pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love to steal samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Was the director present at the morning run through? Y yes, yes he was. He was directing how to steal samurai and the evil magistrate should move. Why did you tell us that before? Well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this. 
I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lure. Fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I, I see. Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? No, I sure hope not. Uh, I know they want to ask you to keep quiet, but when your life literally is on the line, I wouldn't keep quiet. I am nowhere going anywhere where I should go. It was supposed to be at the main gate. No, am I stupid? Am I stupid? Is it like somewhere else? What the fuck? Who would you do to the mail? Oh, oh. Oh. This is where I show my true talent, isn't it? Huh? Wait. Wait. You first. Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. What? Whatever, loser. How could you not know the great Tom Manama? I make the Lou shield. The steel samurai? Mine. Read the film credits. Really? You're the Salmonella? Salmonella? <laughs> I love this game. I love this game. I'm so sorry. I just... You look so... Sorry. No, no. C quite alright. Really. It's fine. Wolf. What is it? You know, I'm close to expecting. Um, yeah. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> hey, do you do a lot of cosplay? Because that cox costume rocks. Rocks, or? What? what? Hey, you're drooling. Huh? <laughs> Buffer off a run. You trigger my creative powers. Yes. Yes, it's coming to me. Pink Princess. The sequel to the Steel Samurai. Pink Princess. Warrior of the Little Old Tokyo. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> Lamel. Pink Princess? Why is it gotta, gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna avoid you for a bit. I want to see what's in that bag. It's a Paris bag. What? I wonder what's inside. Hey, supermarket tabloids? Wow, I'm kind of shocked. Maya, leave those alone. Wolfman found on Mars. I'll have to buy that issue. you. Wow. You get, you're starting to become a fan now too, Phoenix. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who you dudes are. Like security lady told you about us, eh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. Yeah, <laughs> I was so busy, I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. A uh, T-bone steak, was it? Yeah. Marcus, I hate missing out on food. Nick? What does suck stories mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in the meeting room from noon till 4. With the producer and some big wits on the art network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30. If he's telling the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. About the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean the Vasquez? She's a genius. Mad skills, all the way. Scary though. She brought the studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to four the whole time. Who exactly are these big wits people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network and some sponsors. Also a few production guys. They piled into a limousine and got here right after noon. Major tension. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They were all grey-haired Jesus. Hmm. Sounds like they'll all be reliable witnesses. 
The thing about alibis is that no matter how, like, yes, you can say you have an alibi, but you, as long as you don't, ex as long as, if you don't cross off that there were more than one people involved in the day of the murder, you can't really, if you can't say, okay, there was only one person who did that, then yes, alibis are good. Otherwise, it won't make sense. Like, they could just alibi each other. I had to talk to the guy to get the key, isn't it? Uh -huh. You again. I got something in my eye. How rude. Acting like you've seen a ghost. You suddenly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spell seal samurai costume. Told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Paris is pretty tall. As soon as they saw you there, as, as soon as they saw there was nowhere I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would rule out her, of her being the murderer. Anyway, know this, whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. I wasn't doing her voice right, but I'm getting it now. You sure are talking a lot for someone who wears sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. <clears throat> this lady's too much. And I'm glad she stopped talking. Actually, she's gonna keep talking, isn't it? Um, about that kid you said you saw. Let's see him again. I'll take him in down. Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. About the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder. Let's see him again. I'm taking him down. Nick, I think she's losing it. Yeah, can you pass me your keys? I need your keys now. If I if it's the same thing again and no. Hey, no touching. Guess I'll better investigate the letter. But I still need her keys. Give me your keys. But I want your keys. I want keys! I, I said examine, thank you. No? Okay. Do I go to Studio One? Did I, did I f do I have to go to Studio One because I need to go talk to someone? Ah, probably. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it is a murder scene. I want to go someplace else. Nick? <sighs> we gotta... We gotta investigate everything. Uh, yes, we talked that before. There's nothing. Oh, I want to see what's if there's anything on the back. Oh, there's nothing. Okay. I guess there's nothing. Um. Where's my keys? I want keys. Why would I no? Did I forget to do something? Pretty sure I had... They said to go to the main gate to get the keys. Oh boy, are we gonna be here for a while until I figure this out? I'm... Yeah, okay. Uh, I, 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 going back to the employee area? Hey! Hey! Wait! I'll bet he came in through that train. Hey, um, kiddo, what's your name, sport? I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a kid. So don't talk to me like that. Uh huh? But you, you are a kid. What a rude little brat! That's no way to talk to an adult. I don't see no adults here. Can't be fashion chick. Hippie fashion? Nick? I think I'm being Mark. You got to hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Hackins. Call me Kitty O again and I'll cut you down with you stand, evildoer. I gotta give him more of a kid voice, but. A kid voice who's always angry. Call me again, Kitty O. Oh, yeah, that's better. 
That's a lot better. Anyways, uh, Kidio, I gotta talk to you. So, you're a fan of the Seal Samurai? How dare you honor that name, evildoer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai's side. <laughs> you can't fool me. Okay, then what's the last line Last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? <laughs> Easy. Like some fries with that? <laughs> Not bad, kiddio. Watch it! What are they doing? Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He... 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 Always! The still Samurai always wins! Always! Yeah, I saw them. I saw everything. What? But... But no way I'm... Am I telling you, losers? What? Wait! Let me go! What? So the old bad... Couldn't catch him, but we caught him. He's gone. Never mind. Huh? Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? What was this sitting here, I wonder? Found the table in... Ooh, sleeping pills. Sleeping pills. Anyways, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Well, isn't that odd, eh? The drain where the fanboy come in. He didn't waste any time coming in either. Talk about cause and effect. Yeah, he was just waiting for us to take it off, huh? So we got some sleeping pills. That are, will be very important. Very, very, very important. Now can we get the keys? Huh? What's that old wood bag? Out of her to leave her post. Hey! Hey! <clears throat> hey! Nick! That was her. Stop, whippersnapper. Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch. <laughs> you don't say natch when you trip, but okay. Uh-oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. Get the keys, get the keys, get the keys, keys, keys. <gasps> hey, hey, Nick, now's our chance. Let's check out the car station. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Well, absolutely. And we're not gonna let her know. Hehe. <laughs> Alright, oh, um. Miss Oldbag? Oh, you're not there? Well, then, wherever you are, I don't care. Oh, she was probably in the uh, employee area now, I think about it, because that's where the kids were. I am not. I am not going there. Thank you. Now I'll examine. Open the door. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. Well, it doesn't say trailer key for some reason. It opened. Great! Let's go, Nick! She seems eager all of a sudden. I swear to God, if that's a done dead body. Well, you're first, Nick. Uh, ladies first. Ah, uh, not that eager. Ladies first, come on. Show, show some gentleman-like. The trailer door, it's unlocked. Yeah, that was stupid of me of not going for move. Oh, nobody? Okay, good. She's a smoker. I've already given the smoker voice. Someone's in here. Names. Our, our names? Um, we're WP's lawyer and, uh... I see. And who might you... Devaskis. The producer. Devaskis. She's quite beautiful. And... Not strange at all. It looks like they were designed a set to use for their Steel Summer show. They've got some figures for how much the set cost. I can't believe they spent that much money on those sets. Uh, and they still get some T-bone steaks from that. The glass is frosted. I can't see outside. 
This fine to October, the dim in daylight makes it feel like winter's coming. I know that feeling. This is where they had that meeting. There are documents and paper, scup, uh, paper cups scattered around. They get T-bone steaks, but they got paper cups? Ugh. Nothing in here that could be a clue. Just some paper cups and crumbled documents. And not an old movie poster. The scene Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. What the hell do Samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Oh. My. God. That movie was the best. It's about a samurai who sings his way into fame and fortune. Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know? Saying samurai stars. What's next? Ninja ballet? Oh, I, f I thought she was going to go like, oh, about that one. Samurai Summer, starring Jack Hammer. This poster quite old. Wow, it's been, it's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great. A uh, typical summer romance with a samurai on a horse. At least the creativity is through the roof. An old movie poster. Dynamite Samurai starring Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. And now he is the star of heaven. Or hell. Well, we don't know what he did. Yet. You got anything about him? I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script. Excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A script? The Steel Samurai. Episode 13. I need it. Um, can we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need... To read it. We're getting nowhere fast. Um, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. What sudden music? That just cut me off guard. Miss Vasquez? It's on TV. Every week. That's all I have to say about that. N Nick! She's telling us to go watch TV? The nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director. Sal Manella, was it? What uh, exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick? Are all people in the entertainment entertainment business this weird it's starting to look like it nick let's get out of here isn't there somewhere someplace else we have to check y yeah wait y yes if you see manila give him this why do we have to do your errands I don't think I like her. Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. Alright. We'll give it to him if we see him. Vasquez memo. Uh, bring me the script to uh, episode 13 is what I think it said. Yeah. Uh, D. Vasquez. D. Vasquez. Is that another uh, funny name? D. Vasquez? Because it's not telling me anything right now. Because I got Salmonella, but... D. Vasquez? No, nope, doesn't ring me a bell for now. Anyways, I just did. I I didn't know Sal Manella was the freaking director. I thought he was just a ra random employee that I have no idea what he was doing. I guess he was a director. I may have even said it, I didn't even realize it. Uh, oh, wait, we're going to uh, Mr. Sal Manella. Is he in the dressing room? Yeah, yes. Here, I got this from the producer. Oh, we need a script for episode 13. Episode 13? Where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Uh-oh, my ass is dumb if I don't find it. Nick? It might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely, where he's likely to have been. I agree. 
Oh gosh, we're looking all over the place, aren't we? Okay. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Pao's there taking a nap. Okay. We're gonna look everywhere. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must have given these to the employee. Hey, Nick! What now? The the snacks! There was twice as much here before. Uh I I uh, ate them. They were part of the exploration day anyways. <laughs> She's spying her lips and staring at me with tears welling in her eyes. Yeah, well, they're not yours anyway, so why are you crying about it, Maya? It's locked. I guess he doesn't open his windows much. It's kind of dusty outside. Why would I look in the freaking window, too? I'm an idiot. They always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. I see my hair still nice and spiky. Just how I like it. Yeah, baby. As long as it's still nice and spiky, I like you. I'm all about his hair. Uh, oh gosh, work. He could be anywhere. Oh, don't tell me it's all the way back to that trailer. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to. Oh, 301, maybe? We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick. Nick. Yeah, I'm feeling the studio one's gonna be where it is. Oh, I see it. Is that it? Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. The director? Maya. Take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Oh, look at me, isn't my smart brain. Did he say he left it somewhere? Aha! Found it, Nick! The script! Good work. Alright, we got the script. I want to see what's inside. Can we see it? Can we see it? Can we see it? Oh my god, there's a lot of people to look for. I hate this guy. With all my heart. I'm still thinking the assistant did it. I will always say bye. I will never go back. But these two, especially Salmonella, I'm... I don't like Salmonella. I don't like the freaking bacteria and I don't like his name. Or his... him. I just don't like anything about him. Alright, so uh, I guess we're gonna go to see uh, Mr. Salmonella. Hey, is that what you were looking for? You're not the one who needed it. I'm not gonna give that to you. That was close, though. I mean, I, 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 he wouldn't take it, but... Now I want to know what he's going to say about it. Well, if, if it's anything, it'll just tell me to bring it back to the director. So, um... We were going to Studio 2. That's where we're going. This, for some reason, I, I'm pretty lost easily on this map. Alright. Was that what you were looking for, ma'am? Here, we found it. Your script. Ah. Oh. Script hands are the Vasquez. Um, uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just you hold on. What's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyway? And do you even know who we are? Powers, lawyers? I'm right. Am I a suspect? No, it's just, well, no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder. Yes. Anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know, there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now, listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? Yeah, the tree? The reason we didn't go there in the first place? 
On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked? You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? Yeah, the, the statue. The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right, that. What an original name. Its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after 3 o'clock. It was after 4 by the time the path was on block. Capice? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was clear. Stuck in this trailer. Stuck until after 4. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. A crane came just after 3 o'clock to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'll corroborate my story. But, wait. What if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30. The time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time. In ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ooking. It is a monkey after all. Oh, was it supposed to do like a monkey noise? Also go with the ook. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Again, some information that would be clearly good to know in the beginning, but that's fine. That's fine. Yes, the monkey told the time. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15. That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammond died in Studio 1 at 2.30. See? Goodbye. Um, I, will, I'm gonna, I have some ideas in my head as, as of now, but I'm going to not say a word because every time that I say something, they just counter it immediately afterwards. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone beside WP who could have killed a hammer. It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. Okay, well, I guess I will be saying it as I'm going. Obviously, it looks like Mr. Monkey got his head snatched coincidentally 15 minutes before the murder. The assistant did it. The assistant did it. It's it's the only one who I can think of. Because if the director and the producer were stuck, and also I was thinking about that, was they could have done it before 215 with the sleeping pill and overdose, but then they got spear stabbed. We'll continue because my head's all over the place. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. Mia! It's you! Oh, we're back in this bullshit again, aren't we? I feel like we took some cocaine on the way and that's how we get it. What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'll say so. What did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. He saw everything. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But, but no way am I telling you, losers. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy's our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. Yes, he didn't see everything, and... If we told him that we are 
Willpower's lawyer or the Steel Samurai, but he doesn't know that he's the Steel Samurai. Damn it. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh. <laughs> Too much cigarettes. Mm. <laughs> the whippersnappers. She's been chasing that boy this whole time. Ugh. When, when I catch him, ah. sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. I got a hostage now, Ripper Snapper. Uh, hostage? Oh, she is out of fresh. Um, what happened to the boy? If I see him again, <laughs> lay him flat. <laughs> My, what a violent old lady. So Mia's still with us. Actually, I met with the director just now. My heart. I don't feel so good. Is she okay? Before I go, I'd like to go visit the place where poor. She, she looks like she's gonna die. Right. She was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. What's this about a hostage? When, when that boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. He'll come back. But it's what? It's kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing and cigarettes. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we gave him that. Good idea. This old bag, mine not- No. I'm catching that. If it's, if it's the last thing I do. Sorry, just got a burp. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? A trade? Hmm. I wonder. No, I mean to double click that, sorry. What do I want to trade her with? Sleeping bills? Wait. <laughs> She's too busy catching her birds to tell me anything. Am I? Oh, Miss Olbeck, I'm borrowing this, just so you know. Oh, okay. Let's be sure to give it. She now has the minute when she's exhausted. What, what does she want? The card key? Hey, that, uh, that's a card. Studio One? Right, the card key to Studio One. I could visit poor old Hammer. I like to visit. He died. It was his, his hand. You don't have your own card, Miss Oldback? If you want, it's my turn. You'll let me borrow. Borrow it then? If I give it a car key, then I won't be able to get into City 1. But I want that thing. Sorry, we have our own investigation to do here. Ooh. That last bit of breath or a pout? No, no. I... Ah, I'm giving it. I'm giving it to her. I'm giving it to her. I thought I could just go with the trade. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Old Bag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnapper. You take this and we're even. Deal? What's this? A still samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figure it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. 
It was, it was, it was, it was. Right. I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off towards the studio. Are you going to be here, young kid? You are. Hello. Oh, and bye. Hey, you. Wait a sec. Phoenix. Was that the boy? Yeah. His name's Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. Uh-oh. Well, you don't want to meet the director, Mr. Kiddo. Unless he's not there. He's sure to be in here somewhere. Found you. Damn it. He's getting away. Come back. There. He's back. How did she... Hey there. Would you mind helping us out? Please? I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Oh. But I like you. Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. The still samurai is so cool. I think he's the um, the bomb. <laughs> what would you a lamer like you know about the steel samurai? Hey, watch that attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. So, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Hmm. Looks like a little... Pers per oh no, we're not doing this again. Persuasion. Necessary. Maybe a bribe? Feels like once in a while my brain will just lock and I have to unlock it by thinking about it for like five seconds. I hate myself. Uh, so now... Oh, right, right, the hostage. Cody? This looks familiar? Hey! My er. You are? Oh, my you are. Huh? You are. You know, ultra rare. That guy's really hard to get. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you this. If you help me. But that's my card. By offering me something I already own, you're in effect issuing the very basic of our consumer society, namely the principle of pure trade. How does a kid know all about that? Man, for grown up, you sure are dumb. What do they teach these kids in schools these days? Quantum physics? Whatever. I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble? If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are rare, rarer than plain old ultra rare cards. Come on. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. Premium rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? Stop thinking about steaks. Now I want to go for a steak. I just had one earlier today and I want more. Um. Now I gotta find a ultra rare premium card. Oh, this. How am I gonna find one of these? Oh, I'm gonna have to move to like this assistant girl or something, am I? No. Oh, the director? He would. He would have something to do with that. You know what? I'm going to Studio One. I want to see what Miss Oldbag is looking at. Oh, I don't have the card anymore. Right. All right. I was there. I am nowhere going where I want to go. Uh, side Studio One. And now we're going to Studio Two. Hello? Aha, I knew it. Oh, hi! Suspect number one right there. I'm, I'm saying it. Hello, what brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes. The, um, girl with you, doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? Um, no. She's the same as always. 
Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. Yeah, yeah, you're on drugs. What are you talking about? You... Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it though. The security lady was chasing around after the boy so fast I thought she'll collapse. Of course, he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fist back at the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. All the posters on the wall here of Hammer? Yes, it's really a terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been war waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? Y you mean you don't know about Hammer? No, what? I'm sorry. I bet that's where the sleepy pills are going to go for. I shouldn't have said anything. No, what happened? Uh, too late. You got, we, know, we have to know the truth. You have to tell us. Wait, now you have to tell me. What happened with Hammer? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Uh, uh, why do I get the feeling something being covered up here? Well, because it is. Oh, gosh. Freaking no. God, go. Where do I go now? Oh, I'm going to have to go see uh, Old Bag, am I? Nope. What about the employer area? Inside the dressing room, am I going to find the, uh... Uh, the, Oh, the detention center, maybe? Maybe I have to go see Mr. Will Powers? Okay, that'll be my second thing. I want to go see if, uh... What's-his-name is there. I'll take that as a no. All right, I'm gonna go see Mr. Will Powers. Maybe he has an ultra rare premium card. I guess Mr. Powers is in questioning. Oh well, let's try again another day, Phoenix. We don't have another day. So, what's the best thing to do from here? We need to get to the studio and talk to that boy. We did. So do you have any ideas about who might have done this? We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Where have I heard that phrase before? So that's where Maya got it from. Yep, uh, yep. Sisters are alike, what can I say? Uh... Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a still summer trading card because I forgot that she could probably... I was just talking about it. I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Uh... Wait! Wait, 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 wait! That's it! That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it! Uh... I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am, I need that card! P please I beg you! Please trade with me! Tr trade with you? Yes! Trade cards! Look, I'll even trade you a neutral rare premium card! Trade me a... Huh? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare. Please. Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? What's everybody getting so excited about? Absolutely, I just heard ultra rare premium. I'm absolutely... Go, 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 go. Really? Thanks. Then this is for you. <laughs> Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like you make you feel great? Yeah, yeah, it does. And I messed up your voice, but who cares? Because now I'm excited because I finally figured it out. Oh, I'm an idiot. I was just talking to you for like literally five minutes ago. Ugh. And then he was in the employee area. This is not the employee area. Ugh. Main gate. Employee area. Dressing room. Again, for some reason, this map is confusing me. Hey, um, did you want that? I know you do, you want that. See this card? Yeah, so... Wait! That's it! I got the hiccups from being so excited. That's the last ultra rare premium card I need! Come on, give it to me, please! You gotta give it to me! No, I've never seen him so eager. Right, okay, how about a trade? You're on! I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot. No, 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 no. Not that kind of deal. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. I sound like uh, that red white guy, like, training information. 
Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. Oh, talk. I was like, did I forget something? So, you like to steal Samurai. He's so cool. I, I guess. You're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions, at his life. I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler. I just realized that I'm not doing a kid's voice again. I'm doing the Maya Mia voice, like the high voice. You like him too, don't you? Uh, oh, me? Yeah, I um, love the Steel Samurai. So tell me, what are your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is? Oh, his fine skill. Got to think of something. I like it when he uh, he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, what's that? The Steel Samurai always wins, always. Check this out, it's my fan album. What the? It's all pictures of Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunt where they beat each other up in public. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. What's that? I got them all. I never miss one, a perfect collection. Check it out, my new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name, wanna hear it? The Steel Samurai Path to Glory. The Steel Samurai always wins, always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well then, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody? Cody, he needs to know because he's fine for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice too. I... I saw. I saw everything. Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? Oh, this is it. Okay, this is, oh, I gotta gather all this information now. I got here that day around 2 o'clock. I had to come in through the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost though. I was in there for maybe a half hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The, the still samurai killed the bad guy. He used his steel samurai spear, just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right. Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the steel samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So, the only person left who could have been is Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. It's not Colin then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's back with some... Awesome info, right? Right? I heard everything. This boy is a cute K word. We uh, 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 do, we do. This boy is a key, key witness. And he's on the police protection starting now. Come on, son. You got a rendezvous with me down in the precinct. No! I ain't going! Wah! Did he just kill Gumshoe? That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we going to do, Mia? Well, um, I really need to be going. 
Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. C come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Parra is innocent? Freaking assistant has no alibi as far as I can remember. Of course he is. That's all I want to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. Ah, uh, that assistant, that assistant, the assistant. As far as I know, she has no alibi. I'm going to have to look at the last video, but I'm pretty sure she had no alibi. Compared to everyone else. But until then, I really have no clue, no lead. And it's going to be a trial. It's a trial. By the way, this is... Are we going? Is this our third day already? Oh, boy, so this is the last trial. Okay, so there, there is no third day. Okay, so that being said, we got no leads, no clues. I like it, though. I like it. It's using my noggin, but I like it. So that's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like the series. Comment down below who do you think the killer is, because now that we're going to the last trial, uh, we're going to find out exactly who did it. I still say it's the assistant. She's the only one who has no alibi, and I've been saying it throughout the whole video. And subscribe to see more. Get notified. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day.